ScriptLogic's Secure Copy provides a simple solution to the complex problems of server consolidation and data migration. Secure Copy enables administrators to copy data while maintaining file and folder permissions. It also allows file share migration with security, as well as local group and user migration. In this brief demonstration, I'll show you how Secure Copy works and just how easy it is to tackle some of the toughest migration issues. So first, let's take a look at the Secure Copy interface. When we designed Secure Copy, we wanted this to be as simple to use as possible, but providing the most flexibility and functionality. First and foremost, we have to use three different steps to configure Secure Copy. First is to select the source folders. This is basically where we want to copy from. So from here, I can simply click my ellipsis button and choose where I want to migrate from. So I can browse through my environment, look at any of the servers that I have, browse through any of the file shares and select one. Now the software is smart enough to know that this is a UNC path. Now I can use UNC paths, I can use map network drives, I can even use local paths when configuring secure copy. I can also choose multiple source paths. So if I wanted to consolidate 10 servers down to one or five servers down to a brand new cluster, we can do that as well. Secure copy fully supports Windows clusters. So in this case, I'm just going to use a single path, and then I'm going to choose where I want to move this to. Now, in this case, I'm going to move it to my local computer, to a location that I'm going to call, in this case, put it under my miscellaneous folder. So now, I'm copying from a network path to my local drive. I have another option to select as well, called Create Initial Source Folder under Target Folder. This is actually so that we can choose how we want the data migration to occur. If I had five different servers that I want to consolidate down, all of them having a folder called data that I was copying from, I wouldn't necessarily want to create five different data folders underneath. I'd probably want to take the contents of those data folders and put them into my new path. That's what this option is for, to create the folder or to take the contents of these different paths and consolidate them into one location. Then we get to choose our available options. First and foremost are our general options. We have two different ways of copying files. First is to copy only the files that have changed. Second is to copy all files. Now when we copy only the changed files, we're only copying newer files, so we never overwrite any files that are newer. We also have the option here to synchronize target with source, purge orphaned files slash folders in target folder. This basically is a mirroring operation to make sure that the source and target locations are exactly the same. Then we have a couple of unique features. One of those is override security on access denied. This enables us to copy data that we otherwise would not have access to. So if we didn't have access to the data and we weren't the owner of the data, typically we'd have to take ownership, then give ourselves permissions, then copy. What this allows us to do is copy data we don't have access to, but without giving us the ability to actually access that data. So this provides a good separation of powers. We also have the option to not copy permissions, only copy the data. Again, the administrative override would still work, but maybe we just want the data contents. Then we have a couple of different log file options. First is to generate just a simple log file. So the log file will be for any of the errors or skipped files that we have. And then if I choose the option for verbose logging, we're going to go ahead and get the status on every folder and every file as it's copied. We also can choose different advanced options. Things like resetting the last access date on source files. This enables us to make sure that the last access date is the same. This enables us now to ensure that our data was only accessed legitimately by users, not that as a part of this migration we then accessed every file and folder. This is unique to secure copy. We also can synchronize the last access date and create a date on the target with the source. This lets us make those dates identical. Again, if we're using something like a hierarchical storage management solution, we don't want everything to be accessed at that moment because that would break that system. And of course, for compliance re reasons and for security policy reasons, we're probably going to want those dates to be exactly the same. We also have an option here to always copy perms even on skipped files. So now, even if we've already copied the data before, but the security has changed, perhaps we've staged this migration to occur over a period of days, we can now go back and set the permissions to what they were. Then we also have the option to clear the archive bit on the source after copying. Basically, this makes secure copy behave like a backup program. 
Then last and certainly not least is the vi verify file copy. Verify file copy will generate a checksum value for the source and target files to ensure and provide proof that the files are copied exactly the way they were. One of the newer features to secure copy is the multi-threading aspect. The engine of the product is now multi-threaded, so this is going to provide for you a much greater throughput when trying to copy larger files, more files. What we've done here is given you the ability to say how many threads you want, and of those threads, each one's going to have batches, how many batches do we